Welcome to this Medicine Masterclass in which we will be covering the DVLA guidance on driving with medical conditions. There are key medical conditions which are notifiable. The government can enforce penalties if the DVLA is not informed. Certain conditions like seizures, epilepsies, acute coronary syndromes, insulin dependent diabetes and glaucoma may require the patient to inform the DVLA. You must tell the DVLA if you have a driving license and develop a notifiable medical condition. Information about this can be found on the DVLA website. If a patient has a disability that progresses, they may also need to inform the DVLA. Patients can be fined and prosecuted if the DVLA is not informed and, and the appropriate outcome is not followed. Notifiable conditions include epilepsy and seizures, diabetes, syncope, arrhythmia, sleep apnea, strokes, glaucoma, blood clots to the brain, Guillain-Barre syndrome, and the presence of an, of an, in, of a, of a, an implantable cardiac defibrillator. The outcome from the DVLA will vary on the type of license a person has. Consider the diagnosis of seizures. There are two types of licenses, category one and category two. Category one are for cars or motorcycles and category two are for uh, large good vehicles, public carriage offices, buses, minibuses with more than nine passengers. If a patient has epilepsy, they must be free for one year, seizure free with or without anti-epileptic medications to drive a category one vehicle. Whereas a category two vehicle, a person must not only be free of seizures for 10 years off anti-epileptic drugs, but must also not have a calculated 2% chance of developing another seizure. If withdrawing uh, or stopping anti-epileptic drugs, advise a six month period to monitor remaining seizure free before the person goes back to driving. Consider heart attacks. If a patient has a, car, a category one license, they do not need to inform the DVLA for a heart attack or a PCI, but they should stop driving for a week after a successful PCI, stop driving for four weeks after an unsuccessful PCI, and stop driving for four weeks if the patient has had a heart attack and does not have a subsequent PCI. Whereas a category two, two driver must inform the DVLA and stop driving for six weeks. Diabetes that's treated with insulin should inform a patient should inform the DVLA if the insulin treatment will last over three months, if the patient's developed gestational diabetes, or if a patient is at risk of disabling hypoglycemia as a result of insulin therapy. With glaucoma, you don't need to tell the DVLA if you're diagnosed with glaucoma in one eye and your other eye has a normal visual field. However, if you have uh, if your visual, visual standards are affected, then the DVLA should be informed or if you have bilateral glaucoma. So in this lecture, we recognise that medical conditions impair the ability to drive. This can be dangerous for the road user, for the driver, as well as pedestrians and other people on the road. And so it's important that the DVLA is informed. So appropriate guidance can be given based on whether you have a category one or category two license. You must follow the rules, otherwise you can be fined uh, in terms of a financial fine, but also be prosecuted if you do not inform the DVLA and follow the appropriate corrective response. Thank you for attending this Medicine Masterclass.